Okay, so we've all been in that situation where you've taken all your art supplies to art class and you have left your ruler behind. Or maybe you're out drawing at a cafe and you suddenly realize you need a ruler and you don't have one. I'm going to give you a little trick where you can create a ruler out of a piece of paper. So I'm just using my ordinary regular sketch paper here. You can use any paper. You could use office paper or school paper. And what I've done is I've torn one piece of paper out. I'm going to you make the ruler the long way. You could make it the short way if you wanted to as well. So all I'm going to do is fold this piece of paper in half and line it up as close to square as possible. Then I want to fold a crisp edge and then fold it again in half. And this folding takes a little bit of concentration so that you don't get a crooked edge. But you can see what I do is I kind of fold it in sections and then I make sure that it's lined up at the edge here still when I do each section because it's easy for that to get out of alignment. And so now what I have is this double folded piece with a really straight edge and you'll see that I can use this now as I would use a ruler. It's a little bit tricky because your pencil can go underneath the um, thickness of the paper. So you'll have to align it and hold your pencil so that it really butts up against the edge of this rather than sliding underneath it. If it's easier for you to line it up on the same side as the hand that's holding the pencil, that might give you more pressure against the side. And you can see that it does create a line sometimes if your pencil lead is tall enough to run against the edge of the paper. So you'll have to be mindful of that. So that's one way to use it as a straight edge. Another way you could use it would be to um, use it as sort of a measuring stick as you would in sighting. So like a sighting stick, I can line this edge up with the edge of the ear and then actually mark how wide the ear is. And that gives me a way to compare it to a, a part of the structure that's a similar size. So I can see, okay, that width of the ear is equal to the width of the tail. That's sort of an egg shape here toward the top. And I would say that is probably at one third of the height. So then when I draw on my paper, let's use this again. Say I have a sketch of the dog going on. And I want to add the ear and the tail. I can say if my ear is this wide, I now know that the tail at two thirds, or I'm sorry, one third the height, so right about here, should be the same width. If I want to use a one to one ratio, I would actually be copying this over. You can see that my sketch is just a tiny bit um, sh smaller than the printout is. And so what I'm going to do is create a new one to one ratio. So say I'm using this edge here is the edge of the ear. There's the width of the ear. And I know at about one third the height from the top, that needs to be the same width. So see how I actually managed to guess that it was pretty accurate. I think I may be just a smidge too wide, but barely. And so that way you can use your piece of paper as a measuring stick as well as a straight edge. So I hope those two tips really help you out. I know this has saved me a million times when I've needed a ruler. The other thing that it works really well for is say you need a ruler and you only have a six inch ruler and you need a 12 inch ruler. Well here you've got whatever length the long way of your paper is. In this case, it's 14 inches. 
So it gives me a straight edge or a ruler that I can use to measure sizes and compare them to that's longer than one that I might have if I have a smaller ruler. So I hope that tip really helps you guys out and thanks so much for watching.